This is the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Hobart here in Little Armenia. And uh, Trish is going to uh, let you know what's going on here. But essentially, this is where the Armenian community comes together to bring awareness uh, to the genocide. They're expecting 50,000 uh, marchers uh, in this parade a little bit later on that starts at 10 o'clock. And again, uh, Trish will, will have a little bit more on that coming up. All right, you know, what do you mean coming up? Toss it to right her. Now? Yeah, go ahead. Right. She's right below you there. I saw Trisha in the elevator. I rarely run into her. She's a <laughs> South Bay neighbor of mine, and I love Trisha and beautiful young daughter. Trisha, good morning. Tell us more. Hey there, Rick's up there nice at Sky Fox. How you doing? We're down here on the ground, allowing to let everybody know what's going on here in Hollywood. You can see behind me, they are starting to assemble here on Hollywood Boulevard. This is because they are getting ready for their annual march here uh, to commemorate uh, the genocide back in 1915. They are expecting about 50,000 people this morning. It's scheduled to start at 10 o'clock and will last until about noontime. And in years past, they have indeed gathered tens of thousands of people. And one of the reasons is because because here in Southern California, we have one of the largest Armenian communities in the United States, and that's why so many of them gather here, and it continues to be a very controversial and emotional issue. They want the world to recognize that they are calling this a genocide, the 1.5 million people who were killed back in 1915 at the hands of the Turkish government, the Ottoman Empire back then. And they are asking uh, for, the, uh, for the countries around the world to acknowledge this. That's why they continue to do these marches like this every year. They are also saying that it's not just to remember what happened in the past, but they want to assure people that this will never happen to anyone else in any other country again in the future. So they say it's very important that people continue to remember this and recognize it. They also urge people to go and take a look and do their own research, look things up for themselves and take a look at this. After the march this morning, which will last till about noontime, there will be another demonstration later this afternoon at the Turkish consulate. Uh, they will be protesting there in front of the Turkish consulate. In years past, it has been such a large gathering that it's actually shut the streets down around there. As far as the march this morning for about a mile and a half, I don't believe they're going to be shutting down any streets. They're going to be marching along the sidewalk for about a mile and a half along Hollywood Boulevard, Normandy, Sunset, and back up Western. So if you're going to be in the Hollywood area sometime this morning, be aware that this is going to be going on, and you may just want to take some alternate routes because it will be very congested. Here. That's the very latest from Hollywood. We'll send it. Fourth anniversary of the beginning of the Armenian genocide where the Ottoman Empire, now Turkey, killed more than one million people. Tens of thousands of people expected to commemorate that event in Hollywood. And Trisha Takasugi is there now live with more. Trisha, good morning. Good morning, Tony. We are here on Hollywood Boulevard, right in the heart of Hollywood, and thousands of people are indeed assembling. Take a look behind me here. They have actually closed off a portion of Hollywood Boulevard while everyone is getting ready for this march, which is scheduled to start any minute now. Now, in years past, they have had tens of thousands of people show up for this march every year. Uh, this year, we, it seems like a little bit lighter crowd, but still plenty of people here. It's gonna, they're going to march for about a mile and a half down Hollywood Boulevard, over to Normandy, over to Sunset and back up Western. It'll take a couple of hours, and then later this afternoon, they will also be staging a demonstration in front of the Turkish consulate. Uh, and all of this, of course, is to... Um, in memory of the uh, 1.5 million people who were killed at the hands of the Turks back in 1915. The reason that they continue to do this march every year is they say not only to bring attention to what happened back in 1915, but they are also saying they don't want to see anything of this sort, any of this mass killing happen to any other group of people ever again, whether it be there or in any other country. So they say that's why it is so important. They want to bring this to everyone's attention. They also encourage people to look up information, to research it for themselves, because it is such a controversial issue. Uh, they have been asking all the countries around the world to acknowledge that this was a genocide. They have, uh, over the years, had problems with that. Recently, President Obama took a trip to Turkey, and he was asked about that as well, and he refused to answer at that time about it. He said his views are on the record. So it continues to be a controversy. And here in Southern California, we have one of the largest Armenian communities, I believe, in the entire United States. So this issue is uh, very near and dear here to the folks here in Southern California. 
Uh, so that's the very latest from Hollywood. They're getting ready to start the march. As things continue, we will bring you updates. We'll send it back to you guys now in the studio. All right, Trisha, thank you. And in fact, President Obama, when he was candidate, Obama did in fact refer to it as the Armenian the genocide. genocide. And that's why he was questioned about it when he went to Turkey. Yeah, the government of Turkey bristling at that. Uh, to say the least. Yes, but there is talk now. Perhaps. The two are talking, yeah. Armenia and uh, Turkey, and trying to reconcile things, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of... Take it. The Armenian genocide began 94 years ago today. Turkey has long denied it ever happened, but that may soon change. Christy Fajardo is live at the Turkish consulate where thousands of Armenians protested this evening. Christy. Christine, this year the anniversary comes at a historic time. Both Armenia and Turkey have just announced they've agreed on a roadmap to restoring relations. But here in the Southland, Armenian Americans say for that to happen, Turkey and the United States must first formally recognize the Armenian genocide. Shame on Turkey! A day of protests in Los Angeles. Thousands march in little Armenia. Get your hands off our land! Later, thousands more converge outside the Turkish consulate on Wilshire Boulevard to commemorate Armenian Remembrance Day and to express frustration at Turkey and this year at President Obama over what he's not saying. We're very upset about his uh, lack of use of the word genocide when he promised that he was going to do it. While campaigning, then Senator Obama said he would call the World War I slaughter of Armenians by the Turks a genocide. But while in Turkey, he stopped short of using the word and did again today, saying in a statement, each year we pause to remember the 1.5 million Armenians who were subsequently massacred or marched to their deaths in the final days of the Ottoman Empire. My interest remains the achievement of a full, frank and just acknowledgement acknowledgement of the facts. I was deeply disappointed that this president, like so many before, have, has failed to properly characterize the Armenian genocide for what all of us know that it was. Protesters believe the president is bowing to pressure from Turkey, a NATO ally. Turkey denies the death toll was ethnic cleansing, instead the result of the necessities of war. Armenian Americans say they've waited 94 years for the U.S. and Turkey to call a spade a spade and hope they won't be waiting generations more. Now, many of the protesters we spoke with say they ultimately believe that uh, Obama will come through with his campaign promise. They hope that will pressure Turkey to formally acknowledge the genocide, which they hope will lead to reparations. We couldn't reach anyone at the Turkish consulate for comment. Live in Carthay Circle, Christy Fajardo, Fox 11.